So my hubby sanded off all the chippy paint the best he could because it's really messy and it was landing like all over the floor and it's lead paint so he sanded it down really good. He also had to sand down this side here so that it would fit inside the frame. So that it would fit inside the door frame. We've decided to keep it on the black side which I still need to touch it up here and there. Um, in fact, I'm probably just going to add some paint down here and leave it chippy and worn looking. So I'll add some black paint here, here, there, and then their very, very bottom, but I'm going to make it just kind of messy. I think that the previous owners of this old chippy uh, antique French door, they, they probably started to paint this door black and they just gave up because it's old, messy. Okay, so this is the beginning stage. Next is cleaning out the whole entire closet. I mean, it's a hot mess and it goes all the way up there. I mean, it's dark up there, but it goes all the way up there. So I went to Tuesday morning and I bought this round one and then these here. I had this one at home, this metal one, this one, and then this like tray. So. I'm leaving the tags on the Tuesday morning ones because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to keep and use and if I don't use them I'm going to return them. Then I picked up some of these push lights from Home Depot and I'm going to put one I think in the back on each shelf. So anyways I got four of those and here and then I got some batteries and then here and I picked up this DecoArt chalk paint. It's like really black to fix the door and then come up the stairs and I picked up two of these brushes. But I'm only seeing one. There's the other one. Say hi. Hi. I'll say it again. Say hi. Hi. It is Labor Day. And so they are all home right now. Oh, yeah. And here, Evan just found the other basket from my bathroom that I'm going to try to utilize. So just add it to the pile. Okay. I have some ultra white bare paint. And I thought about doing just the back. But I have to get all the way up there. And <laughs> just paint the back white. But I'm too tired and lazy. I've been working on projects all weekend long. Plus, I just got back from a funeral. So I'm just going to get it really nice and organized, add the lights, and I could always do white paint down the road. I would prop this up and have you guys watch me organize. But, there but it is so cramped in this small, narrow hallway that trying to set this up and film and move around would just be way too hard. So I just took my beige paint or touch up paint for our walls. And I went in the closet. I went in the closet, which is all cleaned out now, wiped down the shelves, and used the touch up paint on the areas that needed it. And they were lazy. <laughs> the previous owners or whoever that fixed up the place, it's still drying, you can kind of see the streaks. They were lazy. And there was a whole bunch of areas up here. And it goes way up, see that? It goes way up. Um, they weren't even painted, so I painted all the areas that they just didn't do. Everything is painted, cleaned, I even swept the bottom. All the contents are behind me, stacked. It's, there's so much. So now I'm going to add the lights, and then I'm going to start organizing all the stuff and putting them in baskets, and then I'm going to work on the front of this old French door. So instead of adding nails to the wall, I'm using these Velcro command hooks. You do one on the back of your item and then you do one on the wall. So, so here's two of them. There's two settings. So one, two, it's a little dimmer, and then off. One, a little dimmer, off. And here we are with the final reveal. I cannot stand directly in front of the closet because space is very limited. This is a narrow hallway and I am standing right inside my daughter's doorway. So here we go and I'm going to go over everything. First things first, let me turn on the light. First things first, I need to turn on this light. I have important books here, Elf on the Shelf, things I don't want getting ruined. A basket up here that's holding some scriptures. This marble vase is from the thrift store and it's holding some extra pencils. And 
This paper mache amber sand is from Michael's a few years ago. Moving to the second shelf. In this basket I have different tapes as it says. The ceramic weenie dog was my husband's grandmother's. The grandkids grew up with it and we inherited the little ceramic wiener dog. The plants from Taipan Trading, the wood corbels there and right here are from the thrift store. I'm not going to obviously light this candle in the closet, but it's just for looks. It smells really good and I will link them in the description box. Moving over is all kinds of cards and envelopes. Thank you cards mainly and then blank cards and envelopes. This is a basket I left for my husband because he has a bunch of stuff that he doesn't really have room for in our room. Like our dressers are all filled up and we have a small closet so this is a basket for him to put some extra. Just hold some extra overflow dad stuff. And then this one's gift bags and tissue paper. So I need to add some more gift bags in here and then this is a big thing of tissue paper here. I picked up these wire baskets from Home Goods a while ago. This is some earmuffs, and these are all hats. There's one in there for everybody, boy, girl. And this one's gloves. There's a match for everybody. There's. Then this is a basket holding a bunch of home decor magazines on a wood stool I thrifted. And then right here I have just a hook a fairly large hook to hold. I have these two on the smaller hook and then I hang this fedora on the bigger hook. In this tall basket are two big bags. This one on top is a be big beach bag and the one below is like a perfect carry-on bag to travel with. It has a strap but they're both kind of folded up in there. That black deco art chalk paint worked really, really good on the front of the door. I spent so much time scraping off old paint, plaster, all kinds of debris that was chipping everywhere with this metal scraper. And this is the best I can get the windows cleaned. I cleaned and scrubbed both sides with some method spray and then I painted the door with that chalk paint. I didn't do a perfect job as I wanted it to look kind of chippy and messy. And I left some of the areas untouched and just went around them with the chalk paint. I learned while I was cleaning the glass and, and all that that this one is fake. It's like plexiglass and then the rest are all glass. The door also doesn't shut all the way. I mean, it will pop out in a second. I'm totally okay with that. I, I mean, it wasn't intended to be a closet door. It's an old French door. I absolutely love how it turned out. It looks so nice at nighttime too up here when it's darker. I've had a few people ask me if I'm going to leave the lights on all day and I'm not. I will just turn them on like at 7 o'clock at night and leave them on until bedtime. Or if we need to get in here during the day I'll just pop, we'll just pop on a light and get what we need and then move on. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Bye!